were gonna see if the banana boat crew could go 82 and 0 in 2k23 so i put every member of the banana boat squad onto the miami heat and yes i actually added the prime versions of these players into the team so guys we got the banana boat crew and the rest of the team is pretty trash yes this is current day dwight howard so we're gonna get into it and we're gonna see if this team could three peep Nah, hold on i had to pause the simulation we won like 50 games in a row and then we lose five games in a row what is going on bro like, take a look at this. How is this team losing games? Is it because we have no bench and pretty much no depth? I don't know. But five games in a row is insane, bro. Come on. All right, look. End of the season, of course, Luka wins MVP. We didn't even have to guess that. He's averaging 39 points per game. That's very real 2K. Rookie of the year, Apollo. Drummond, six-man defensive player of the year is LeBron James. So that is one banana boat crew player that actually did really good. Those stats are insane. And defensively, this man is locked in. By the way, Coach Spo was also coach of the year. We went 72-10. and 10, Probably one of the best records in NBA history. So we're going to get into the playoffs. And we better win this ring because I'm trying to get a 3 P with the banana boat crew. If you're interested, three of our four banana boat crew players actually made all NBA first team, which is pretty insane. Also, two of them made All-NBA defensive team, D-Wade and LeBron. That is kind of insane, bro. This team is literally one of the greatest in NBA history. If we had a bench, this team would be undoubtedly the best. Also, these were the season stats at the end of the year. I mean, everybody is putting up 20-plus with like 10 boards or 10 assists, depending on what they do. It's honestly an insane team. Our first one matchup is the Brooklyn Nets. I don't know how they made it out to play in, but uh, I don't know where Kyrie is either. That's tough. I'm going to just go ahead and simulate this entire round. There's just no way we even lose a game. And oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, bro. What is that? That was way too close with the A seed, bro. What is going on? TJ Warren turned into Bubble Warren, huh? Uh, of course he did. All right, round two is against the Cavs. You got Garland, Mitchell, Karis LeVert. Pretty much their lineup. You guys know it. They're very, very tall. And we really don't have a center. But we got, we literally have four players that are like 96 overall and higher. So there's just no way we lose to this team. All right, let's go ahead. Game one, we win game one. Game two, we win game two. Game three, can we just go ahead and finish it? There we go. 3-0. That It's over, bro. All right, can we go ahead and complete the sweep? Yes, we can. We are in the Eastern Conference Finals. Let's see who we're going to go ahead and play. Is it going to be Philly or Boston? Either way, we should have a free trip to the finals, and we are going to be playing the 76ers. So this Sixers team, they actually have Jimmy Butler somehow. Listen, I had to release him from the Heat because I didn't want to make them too overpowered, and they picked him up. So, I mean, hey, this team is looking pretty crazy. I can't lie. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and simulate through the first couple of games. Let's just see what happens. Game one, we take it easily. Game two, okay, of course somebody had to get injured, bro. I don't care. Game two, we win as well. Let's go ahead and take a look at the box score. Melo is putting up prime Melo numbers. Chris Paul is putting up 19 and 15. D-Wade is going crazy. LeBron's going crazy. This team is unstoppable, let's be honest. I thought this series was going to be a lot closer because they got a good team, but let's go ahead and simulate game three. We're up 3-0. This should be an easy sweep as well. Okay, they get one back. There's just no way we blow a 3-0 lead. There we go. Curry won finals MVP on the West Coast. On the East Coast for our team, the Banana Boat Crew, D-Wade, won with those absolutely ridiculous numbers. Three steals a game? Bro, are you serious? And guys, the NBA Finals, oh my goodness, bro. Golden State Warriors, they got Bam. I had to release him too, and for some reason, they picked him up. This team is low-key a super team as well, but... I mean, you guys see who we have. I'm not too worried about it. All right, game one, I'm going to simulate right away. The Heat win, game two. Okay, the Warriors get one back. Game three, this one's important. We need it, and we got it. Guys, look at these numbers in game three, bro. This is the definition of team chemistry. We won by, like, 23. LeBron had 17 assists. Everybody is passing the rock to each other. They're literally best friends, so why not? This team is working out great so far. All right, game four, can we go up 3-1? Because there's no way they come back from 3-1. The Warriors are just not them. Let's go ahead and win this first chip. Guys, we're about to beat the Golden State Warriors in four with the ridiculous lineup they had. I'm not going to lie. That's probably one of the best teams we're ever going to face on this journey to a 3 P. So we're about to go ahead and win our first championship. But we're not done yet because we need to win two more. Or I'm going to force all these players to go right into retirement. Hey, man, Chris Paul is about to win his first ring. It only took him teaming up with, you know, Prime LeBron, Prime D-Wade, and Prime Melo to do it. That's that's tough. We're going to go ahead and run the clock out and win our first championship of three. Chris Paul gets his first ring. I mean, LeBron gets another ring. Carmelo gets a ring. Hey, man, listen, it couldn't have worked out better, and we won it at home. That's only number one, though. Look at Chris Paul and D-Wade getting hyped. Listen, bro, the two on the left have been here before. The two on the right, it's their first time winning a ring. Congratulations to them. Let's get into year number two and see if we can go back to back. All right, guys, that right there is championship number one. We got two more to win, and we got to do it back-to-back. -back. Look at Melo just reaching for that. His hands are literally inside the trophy. Who wins finals MVP? Of course. Who else would it be, man? Back in the Miami Heat jersey, LeBron James. Congratulations. Another finals MVP. Lift that thing up high. Yes, sir. And if LeBron completes this 3P, he actually is going to pass Jordan in the amount of rings he has as well. Wait a minute, 2K. What is this, bro? Carmelo actually won finals MVP, but LeBron stole his trophy and lifted it. That man want to catch Jordan so bad. But listen, Carmelo went crazy. 33, 9 boards, 6 assists, 2 steals, a block a game. He deserved it. Shout out to him. I don't know why LeBron stole his trophy. That's kind of shady. But, I mean, they're all best friends at the end of the day. It is what it is. All right, guys. Year number two on the way. 
All right, season number two, Carmelo Anthony wins MVP. Finally, somebody from the Banana Boat crew wins MVP. 29-11-7, a steal and a block a game. Hey, also, LeBron gets back-to-back -back depoys with ridiculous numbers as well. This man could have won MVP pretty much as well. I wouldn't be surprised if the top four for MVP were all the Banana Boat crew players. And Coach Spo, back-to-back coach of the year. Shout-out to him. 68-14 and 14 record this year, so four less wins. But we're going to get into the playoffs and go for this two-peat. All right, so we are first seed, and we have a rematch with the Brooklyn Nets. I'm not worried. Simulate the entire round. We should be able to sweep them this year. There we go. All right, round two, we are playing against the Pistons, who have a good young team. But, I mean, this should be no match for the four that you see on the screen right there. All right, I'm going to go ahead and simulate this round as well. It should be another sweep, and the Pistons actually win two games. Okay, you know what? That's a little bit concerning already, but I'm not too, too worried about it. All right, we're playing the two-seed Hawks. I mean, if you guys see, our center is literally Elise Johnson, so our team is pretty trash outside of the four that we have, but that's all we need because that's all you really need in the NBA. If those four got together in their prime, it would just be over for everybody. Let's get into the series. All right, game one of the Eastern Conference Finals, they take it. Game two of the Eastern Conference Finals, we get it back. Please be a gentleman sweep because I don't have any time to waste on the Hawks. 2-2, two, two, really? Okay, we're up 3-2. This should do it right here. And it's going to game seven. What is going on, bro? What is going on with this team? Let me take a look at the box scores. Okay, you know what? They're all kind of struggling a little bit. I'm not going to lie. Carmelo, 6 of 22. He's on his chot chucking era. I don't know what to say. All right, boys. We're in the fourth quarter. Nine minutes left. We're up by a lot. This should be an easy win from here on out. But they cut the lead. Oh, my God. It's tied. All right, bro. This is going to come down to the wire. This is already nerve-wracking. I don't know how we're blowing leads. We're down. We got a minute left. Let's jump in. Look at Chris Paul, bro. He looks like MJ out there. Give it to D-Wade. Oh, yeah. Cook him, bro. There's no way you're not getting by Bogdanovich. D-Wade, you know what? I don't know how that went in. 80% contested. This team is just too good, bro. They're cheating. And, guys, this is why we're losing, bro. We have Torrey Craig, Isaiah Thomas. Why is Melo on the bench? Coach Spo, what are you doing, bro? Put Melo in the game. All right, guys. Here we go. Listen, I don't know why Carmelo's not in the game. That's ridiculous. He's literally one of our best scorers. LeBron for three. <laughs> what are you doing, LeBron, bro? Stop trying to be a hero, bro. What are we doing, bro? Come on now. There's just no way we go out to this Hawks team, bro. There we go. He missed a free throw. But there's literally no way we go out to this Hawks team, right? All right, he missed both. We get the ball back. What is this lineup that's in, bro? LeBron's not... Oh, okay, LeBron is in the game. I was about to freak out. Here we go. Chris Paul with the basketball. Chris, get rid of it, bro. That's DeJounte Murray on you. You're not getting by him. 11 seconds. Oh, yeah. Give it to D-Wade in the post. That's baby food. Baby food. Baby food, D-Wade. Fade away. Jumper. We take the lead by one. Eight seconds left. Bro, if Trey Young games this team, I don't even know what to say. I'm going to be disgusted. Oh, my God. Oh, oh my God. Chris Paul, we have no timeouts left. D-Wade with the basketball. From half court, we lost. We just lost to a lollipop that fell on the dirty carpet. We just got game. D-Wade, I mean, Chris Paul, you're canceled, bro. You did not just get crossed over by that man. Look at, look at D-Wade giving DeJounte encouragements. No, bro. No. This team couldn't even 2P, let alone 3P. We're going to get into the third year and just see what happens. But that is just embarrassing, bro. This team is too good. Now, that actually genuinely got me mad, bro. This team was supposed to go ahead and win it all three times in a row. And the Pelicans win the championship. Good. You know, I'm glad that the Hawks didn't win. But, I mean, bro, how do we not even make the finals with the team that we had? Like, this team is ridiculous. What is going on, bro? Next year better be different. All right, guys. Year number three. By the way, this is why we probably didn't win a championship last year. Because our bench... It's built of absolute trash. We got some dude named Leroy. We got Javon Carter, Lance Stevenson, Denzel Valentine. It's literally a bunch of NBA rejects who just want to get a ring. So here we go, season number three. All right, guys, season number three, Luka wins MVP again. We got some random winning rookie of the year with those numbers. What happened to the numbers, bro? LeBron deep way again. That's three in a row. Let's get to the playoffs and win a chip so we could end off this video on a high note. Oh, and by the way, we are the four seed this year, so already we're a lot worse than the previous two years. So this is the team that we're facing in the first round. This team is actually looking really, really good. Some of the young players develop really well. Mobley's already a 90 overall. This is going to be tough. All right, guys, game one. Let's see what happens. Let's simulate it. Okay, we actually pick up a win in game one. Game two, they win. This is going to be a back and forth series. Game three, they take that. Game four, okay, we tie the series up. That was pretty important right there. Game five, we need this badly. And they pick up game five. What is going on, bro? Oh, well, guys, we are getting absolutely demolished. Oh, my goodness, bro. What is going on with this squad? What just happened in the past two years? Look at these. Look at these players, bro. Chris Paul. Chris Paul. Chris Paul is the worst link, bro. I'm not going to lie. He just got outplayed by this Leroy dude. I don't even know who this is. But listen, bro. Chris Paul, 40 minutes and seven points is embarrassing. So, uh, yeah, guys, the Banana Bowl squad could not go 82-0, unfortunately. I mean, I thought they could be because they were pretty overpowered. But the bench, I made sure the bench was weak because of, you know, the advantage they had with their starting lineup. And again, I'm going to put all the blame on Chris Paul. In the comment section right now, go ahead and put down some hate comments for Chris Paul. Because that man right there cost us back-to-back -back chips. And then after that, everything fell apart. It's his fault. He literally got crossed over by a, you know, dirty lollipop. Come on now.
So go ahead and leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it. Hit that subscribe button if you're new, and I will see you in the next video. The Banana Boat Crew, I'm going to be honest, man. The team was just disappointing, and it all starts with this man. This man is enemy number one of the channel. That's as simple as that. I'll see you in the next video, man. Peace.